It's time for another character duel. I am going to be playing the character Chumley, while Mario will be his spirit animal, Dr. Crowder. I may have just looked up what these characters look like the moment before this, so <laughs> I'm excited. And uh, yeah, this should be good. You got Ancient Gears. I got myself a koala deck. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's been a while since I saw the deck like... I couldn't resist. Yeah. I know, uh... <laughs> I know these decks can be a little weird. Yeah. Oh. I'm certainly more experienced with Ancient Gears, but, you know, I, I can't, once again, can't resist koalas. So these two have only duel once, I believe, mm -hmm. and it was, like, at the end of your character's Yeah, it was game. Season 1, Episode 50, uh, uh, cleverly named uh, Magna Chum Laude. It was nice. <laughs> I wish you were right. I wish you just stumbled on the right thing. <laughs> I think I did. I just Googled it, and then I just Googled um, uh, Chumley, and then that popped up so i think i'm right pretty sure i'm right yeah. oh my goodness this is great this is a good card i'm gonna use it um vampire koala <laughs> don't even bother reading all the other cards this one will do the job they Bang. had to, uh, i think this got an errata name change by the way because they they couldn't just put this in the, in the vampire archetype oh so it's vampiric <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. I guess that could um, accidentally mix into the archetype. Mm-hmm. But yeah, steal some life points. Get rid of some of y'all's. Don't mind that. 1800 uh, monster. Obviously, these aren't, like, high competitive decks or anything. They are more character-specific. But, should be good. Should be good. Yeah. Ooh, okay, so we got some face-down action going here. Um, that is a really good card as well. Can I do anything fancy to this? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can. We got the Desk Kangaroo. Getting all marsupial on you. Let's go. And it has an effect that destroys face down monsters, so that sounds great. Not to mention that Stardy does destroy it. Um, but yeah, Vampire Koala. Boom. I don't get the life points back, though, because I only get that when it's uh, fighting a monster. Yeah. And I end my turn. Ooh, we got one and two in the extra deck. Oh, I got that big uh, kangaroo thing, don't I? Yeah, the Master of Oz. Cool, cool, cool. All right, I'm gonna summon out the Trojan Horse. Okay. I have to try to slow you down, so I'm gonna. Yeah. I and think plus, that's the right call. That's quite a kangaroo is one of those monsters that you actually do need. Yeah, for the fusion. So. Yeah. In fact, I actually had two of the pieces and didn't even realize it, but now I don't. It's fine. Um, so we're gonna try to take advantage of, uh, the gift you just gave me. You put a monster in attack mode, and I think we could do something nice to it. So, uh, I will set a card. And I will set another card. But I will use Wild Nature's Release. Ooh, actually I didn't read that it's destroyed during the end phase. Oh well. And I will, uh, boost up Vampiric Koala by oh his defense points. Meaning when I attack a monster and deal life point damage, I'll steal that many more life points. Dang, if that thing had piercing, that'd be really good too. Oh yeah. Oh, I can see why they didn't want this in a vampire archetype. Imagine. Could this snowball guy just, a little bit. It could snowball, yeah. yeah. But I didn't actually look to see that it would destroy. But still, it's fun. Um. <laughs> oh no. He the bad thing, I, am, I have Ancient Gear Monsters in the hand, but a lot of them are level 5. Uh oh. Well, I have Ayers Rock Sunrise. So, I'm actually gonna bring out... We've seen enough of Vampire Koala. We'll bring Desk Kangaroo out. Just in case I can get that Polly on the field. Alright, sounds good. Let's see. I'll face the monsters you control lose stuff, so that's not gonna do anything. But yeah, we'll just smack into you again, and... You know, nah, we'll, uh... Let's see. Do I want to go all out here? Yeah, sure, why not? I have another Vampire Koala in my hand. Uh, technically, I could have won if I played this card right here. But, oh well, I think I'm still in a great position. Yeah, this is a good... Oh, you're about to... Oh, I guess because it was a battle damage. Right, as I stated earlier. Yeah, no. That's why I did the boost when I was uh, fighting the monster, because, you know, opportunity arose. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
<laughs> Almost like that. Alright, jeez, keep throwing these vampiric koalas. Well, let's uh, make magic happen. I attribute vampiric koala and sea koala to bring out the big koala. The monster. That is a huge koala. <laughs> I know. Yeah, it's just... Look at all the little koalas just climbing up it. It's just eating the eucalyptus tree like a lollipop. So yeah, we'll just try to attack and hope it goes well and uh, move ne go next. Zero gravity. It just Ooh. changes your, all your battle positions. Okay. Luckily, these two got good survivable defense, but... Mm-hmm. Um, I guess, yeah. End turn. We'll get you next time. Sounds fine by me. Darn. <laughs> Another Trojan horse. Ah. Not enough to hurt me in defense mode. No. I decided to take it slow because I saw monsters I could summon. I had an ancient gear tank. It could boost. It could have boosted my ancient gear soldier early on from 13 to 19. Well, but I didn't because I thought I'd take it slow and see what my what my hand will be yielding later. Nah, you gotta take advantage of moments when you actually have them in these duels. Yeah. So once you get that field control, it's not the same as modern Yu-Gi-Oh. It's harder to break field control. Yeah. All right, rematch. I'll go second. Cool, cool, cool. Ooh. Okay, that is really not a good card. Um, but it's fine. We're gonna go ahead and set a card, and you know what? We're we're gonna play it slow this time. We're just gonna set that. Not a bad play by any means. Come first, it's fine. All right, I see. All right. Uh, first off, I'm gonna play confiscation. Okay. Pay one thousand life points. Look at your opponent's hand. Select a card and discard it. <laughs> well, unfortunate for you. Yeah, nothing too good. <laughs> well, I mean, the Vampire Koala is a great card, but I have two of them anyway, so. Yeah. All right. Well, Defusion is going to be so dead in this duel. Yeah. It's hard enough to fusion summon, but finding a situation after doing that to defusion properly when I haven't already won the duel. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I guess I could use it against you, but. All right. And then I'm going Sam to Rose whip apply. Ancient Gear Fist to my Ancient Gear Soldier. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. So even if I don't destroy this monster, it'll still be destroyed no matter what. Very nice. Goodbye. <laughs> so I did a chunk of life points to you with that flip effect, but... Yeah. Oh, gosh. A legal pot of greed. Let's go. Oh, that sucks for me. <laughs> Alrighty, what to do now? Um, if the equip monster battles a monster and is still in the field, destroy it. So I guess putting stuff in defense mode is just not the right call against that. So, I'm gonna pair Koala. Come on out, let's destroy him. Attack. You gonna try to take some damage for him? What do you mean? No, like... I mean, uh... I mean, you were just gonna cut double... Exp you are gonna take the, uh, the mutual destruction? No, he wouldn't die because your monster would leave the field, so he would no longer be on the field. Oh, what is that? Is that? I imagine so. Hmm. Darn it! That's not... actually end of the damage step. Yeah, you're right. But either way, yes, it would be worth it. Uh, huh. slow game for both of us. Yeah. Come on. Darn it! Give me something. Something deck. I know old ancient gear sucked, but still. <laughs> All right, math, math, math. 16, 18, 30. Okay, nope. We don't quite have any possible means of wrecking you just yet. Um, but we'll go air. Mm. Mm. No, no, we'll be patient. We'll be patient. Uh, let's do some damage to you. Desquala. Ow. Yep. There we go. I remember. I remember this card being. So, I remember this card because I remember that that deck I used to run, the, uh, mm -hmm. the Ronin Raccoon for that Spike Club. Yep. This card I remember was so good because there was that there was a card I comboed with it that allowed me to flip up the second your opponent's turn started. So I got to burn them. Oh like yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, like I saw an option to hit you with four cards in hand, and I'm like, yeah, we'll take it. 
Yeah, so I remember I did that combo. It, I remember it destro It was devastating to back then. Mm hmm Because I think with six cards... Let's see. That was like 2,400, so... Nice. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's send it and see if... Oh, wait, no, that wouldn't be enough numbers. Okay. So... Yeah, we can just uh, calmly attack you here. Because I can do some moves and literally two separate moves to get you down to 100 life points. But instead, I'll be patient. Okay, come on, give me something. Mm -hmm. Man, both have full Ooh. hands and it's just like, eh, Hot feels green. not crazy. Hey. But well, what does it okay. do? And then I play Magnet, uh, magnet okay. Circle 2. Very nice. Allows me to summon an ancient gear. Then I tribute it. Hey. There we go. Summon ancient gear engineer. Nice. Okay. Okay. That's such a bad card. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> no. And then destroy the back row. Never mind. It's ancient gear. So the, I would have totally killed him with the destruction punch, but it's ancient gear. They counter traps. <laughs> That's what they do. <laughs> well, fair enough. Da ah, darn it. Just drew my big koala. Okay. And now I have no way of summoning him. Um, yeah. I guess we try to go big. Let's do that. I'll pull out the vampire koala. Okay. I'm still afraid of your back row. Um, but consider How bad can I be? I don't know. But considering the pacing of these duels, I'm gonna go all out. And I'm gonna Wild Nature's Release. Because either you're gonna kill him with your back row, or I'm gonna win the duel. Rather than, you know... Yeah, there's no downside you know, of me dying next turn. Because if this works, there won't be a next turn. Yep. There it is. Zero gravity. So it was stopped anyway. So is that oh, to be fair, by the way. Yes, the attack points oh. it is permanent until he leaves the field. Which is not okay. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. That was Switch a good card back. for the situation. Yeah. Okay. Set that down. Heavy storm. Oh, okay. I guess it's just another destruction punch, so it's not really going to be good against uh, ancient gears. Yeah. Okay. Right, Mario, <laughs> you know no how sometimes we uh, gotta just draw a desk koala here? Yeah. There's two D fusions in this deck? <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Or desk okay. kangaroo, rather. And now, I tribute both my monsters. Oh, here he goes. Ancient Gear Golem. Which, funny enough, I started in this deck with. I started every, both duels within in my starting hand. Nice. Alright. Desk Kangaroo. Desk Kangaroo. Yeah! No, I didn't get him. I'm kidding. Ah, oh, that would have <laughs> been so good, though. Ah, darn it. Yep, I got nothing. I lose the duel. I Do you have, have Polly? Do you have Polly and... Uh, yeah, Polly, and... Big Koala, and two defusions. Dang. <laughs> Oh, you yeah. should probably know my spot, my face down was zero gravity, so... Again, yeah. Very nice. My card isn't saving me. Zero oh, yeah, gravity. big time. It was perfect for that last situation. Yeah. All right. 1-1. One, one. Let's yeah. go. I guess I ought to go second. I hate this defusion so much. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm going to... I mean, I guess Almost. the gravity one wouldn't really uh, help you out against the Master of Oz anyway, but... Yeah. <laughs> 3,700 defense. Alright, what are we gonna do today? We're gonna... I guess start a card. And I guess start peeling away. Um, or... Yeah. Field control is definitely the advantage against you, because you need tributes, so if I can limit you from ever having tributes, I may be able to control the field. 
I was thinking of uh, going with the defensive play, but I can't really afford that against you. So I'll control the field as much as possible. <laughs> thinking so tactically for a, koala for a vanilla deck. duel. I, yeah, koala I, deck I, vanilla duel. I would love that I make an actual koala deck for fun, though. See mm -hmm. if he can make a good one. Yep. Is it waiting on you? No. Oh, that's a problem. Do we have to restart this one? <laughs> Maybe. Actual uh, round three. First or second? Second. You want to go first? Okay. I guess I'll go first then. Oof, what is this hand? What is this card? Defusion, go away! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you. What is this card? I don't know. All right. I'm having like very consistent hands, but it's like good and bad things. <laughs> Alright, so we take the mentality from the last duel. You have a card on the field. I don't want you to have a card on the field. It is Ancient Gears, and I'm pretty sure there's some 2,000 defense options in there. But I may be thinking of more advanced Ancient Gear decks. Uh, there is, however, two back row face down cards. One could very likely be the one that switches me into defense mode. With 1,500 defense, I'm not too upset if something like that happens. Um, but we have to be cautious of it whatsoever. I go to battle. Vampire Koala. Smack him. All right, Tactical so I'm going. Place. I'm gonna play my zero gravity now. Yep. If you had heavy storm, I'd not be so sad. Yeah, it'd be beautiful. I know there's something in this deck. I think it's uh, heavy true nades in this deck. Or giant. Yeah, true giant true nade. Alrighty. Very good. All right. Now I'm going to tribute my little gear to some an ancient gear beast. Nice. That's exactly what I was afraid of. What can I do with this card? Special summon with the same level? So it's not gonna do anything, is it? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I got Beast Soul Swap, which lets me switch this for another level four um, beast in my hand, but I don't have one, so I assume it would just put itself in my hand and then come right back out. And that's probably the reason why it's letting me do it. But that's unfortunate. Mario? Yeah. No, I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out how to use this card right here. And I might as well tell you what it is. It's called Statue of the Wicked. Okay. While this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, special summon one wicked token. Okay. What can I do? Use that token to tribute for a bigger monster. I what know, but how, how do I destroy it? Is Heavy Trune is Heavy Storm the only card? Uh yeah, I guess I mean, I don't know. I was trying to remember, does Ancient Gear Engineer, does that card, does that card target any any card, or is it just yours? I don't know. I don't know, Engineer. Yeah, these decks are going to have a lot of very situational plays in them, so. Yeah. Yep, yep, go, go, go. I, go! How many times do I got to click? Jeez. What's the, how, what is your face down that keeps asking you, do you want to play this? Well, no, I wasn't even, I think I just changing the chain rules when I was uh, going through, trying to fix the last duel. Right, yeah. 2,000, jeez, that's a problem. Yeah, it's not even high in current Yu-Gi-Oh! It's just, right now is like the highest right now. Mm -hmm. Like, would you so, ever have a reason to use Ancient Gear Beast in current Yu -Gi in current Ancient Gear? No, absolutely not. Let's see. That's cool. You know what? Yeah, I think we can make a real big play here. Let's Ayo's Rock Sunrise bring this guy back. And... Oh, no. Wait, it didn't depower me. Uh, no, it did not. Hmm. Oh, because you don't have any other beasts in the graveyard. Oh, yeah, true. That would make sense. You need to well... wait on that, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how you lowered my... Get my ancient gear soldier from like 15 to 800, I believe. Yeah. Darn. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just have to do this. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> With the koala on the field, zero attack monster. Nice. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> yeah. So we'll uh, go for it. Vampire Koala, give me a lot of life. Why points, is please. Vampire Koala such the MVP? He's such a boss in this in this match. It's like I don't want to. In like this format, 
any 1800 basic attack monster is going to be good and he's an 1800 attack monster with an effect that's actually good and usable so he's a very good card and i'm consistently drawing him just like i'm consistently drawing defusion so that's the plus side of the consistency i'm experiencing and yeah enter all right uh Got our sea koala damage on you yeah all right i guess i'll set another card down and i guess to do damage coming out my freaking uh trojan horse all righty i can't believe i forgot sequel sequel is one of those cards i also had in the in the uh in the yeah, ronin rex and deck and to uh, make your day sad we're gonna send him back to hand and we're gonna put him right back out in defense hmm. <laughs> there's an effective use of b soul swap i was looking for that all righty um we are looking quite nice right now so <laughs> oh gosh what well, uh just otter combos not a sentence you normally think of but activate cut to zero uh... mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh and you're gonna power up your vampire koala to 2800 i'm trying but i don't know if i can you must control a beast monster other than to activate and this resolve it yeah you hmm. have two beast cards yeah i don't know oh wait now it is okay it seems like the program's slow today. Yeah, it's just being slow. Okay. I activate, I increase Vampire Koala, and I um, intend to gain 2,800 life points. That is certainly my intention, at least. If you have a trap, you have a trap. Regardless, it's a good field. So, I will take it. Uh, Go right 28 into 0. This deck has the weirdest dumb synergy, and I love it. <laughs> Yeah. It's Vampire Koala Synergy. And you have not drawn, like, your full three cards for your... No, deck. but it's it's old-fashioned Yu-Gi-Oh. You're not going to commonly fuse. It's just not going to... Oh, gosh! That's a problem. <laughs> uh, I don't think I changed his position, so we can at least fix that back up. All right. So be it. I will... Oh, man, and you can kill Vampire Koala. Okay. He's got just enough. Or he's got a tree. Hey, I drew a poly. <laughs> Yay! I don't mind getting poly, but getting a defusion when the situation of fuse is so unlikely anyway. It's only two cards in the deck, I believe, so I'm surprised you're consistently drawing it that much. That's, I guess so, yeah. Alright, um, well, we'll just have to koala combo on you um, themselves. Don't style so, on me. I mean, koalas are very stylish. Uh, ooh, do I have to target something aside from this monster? Is one of the... I do. Koalas yeah. is one of those things I feel like people really want as a pet. But True. I don't think... I think there are reasons they're not good pets. Maybe. I don't know specifically. There we go. Go to battle. Oh, I actually could have just boosted up the tree otter. Oh, well. I was really hoping to draw my Inkinger Golem right there because... Trojan yeah. horse can count as two tributes for a Yeah, you had the material for it. There's a reason I wanted to kill these Trojan horses you put out so badly, because I know tributes are scary. Yeah. They're very good for you to have. Oh, yeah, I didn't summon that turn. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, good enough. I'll end my turn there. With a nice weak koala still in the field. I hate you. Hmm. Alrighty. The card I just drew would have been helpful at any point in the last two duels. Shame, huh? But not now. <laughs> yep. Not now. If the game lets us continue yep, on. That would be nice. And what if I just ignore Chain? Maybe you can like just skip certain steps here that it's lagging on. That'd be nice. Hello? Uh, uh, there we go. End of main phase. Okay. Cool. Waiting. Waiting. We got this. We got this. It's probably going to pop up again. Just wait for it. It's, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Uh, uh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Look. Ancient castle. <laughs> Which would have been good a little while ago. Yep. Yeah, would have been pretty good. You 
Which sets a card down. <sighs> Guess what card I just drew, Mario? What? Yes. Oh, you have it all, don't you? No, I have a second defusion, Mario. <laughs> Are you kidding me, Zylo? It just is what it is, but... Do you want to trade this poly I have in my hand with your defusion? <laughs> I mean, yeah, but I also wouldn't be able to do anything with it, because once again... <sighs> this Yu-Gi-Oh is not easy for summoning fusions. Funny right. enough, Deskwall used to be one of those fusion cards people used a lot in their decks with future fusions. <laughs> Yeah, because, like, the card in itself is, like, a massive amount of attack points. It is a scary-looking card. Um, it's just... Hard to summon basic fusion monsters. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. That's all I got. Alright. Is that only if you destroy it or if your opponent destroys it as well? I think it's any if anyone destroys okay. it, I guess. That makes sense. Oh, I actually do have Big Koala and uh, Desk Kangaroo now. And two no. defusions. Maybe... Maybe you could trade in a... Maybe you could trade a defusion for a fusion. <laughs> yeah. Are um, you going to just play off this turn or... No, I don't think I or, can. Uh, so I guess just to make it go faster, I'll just summon the Desk Kangaroo. I swear, if you draw a poly next turn... Boom. Zero. Actually, uh, can I finish you off? Yeah, I think I can. Do that, we'll just continue boosting up the Tree Otter. These two have been the MVPs of this duel, funny enough. And, oh darn, I only changed the attack. Never mind. I thought I changed the... Uh, yeah, I was like, how are you gonna finish me off? Yeah. I'm gonna change it to zero, but it's just the attack. All right. If it would be broken, if it was any battle position they were in, we get reduced. I don't think it would be broken. It just would be better. I feel like some people will try to find a way to side that card in if it could change like a de attack or defense into I zero. I don't think high defense points are a big fear in Yu-Gi-Oh. I guess, yeah. Yeah. Give me a hundred points of damage, Zylo. Mm -hmm. What do they throw? Are they just showing throwing the shells? Maybe. I like to think they just clonk you on the head. <laughs> Have you ever go been... back to coasting around? Have you seen actual otters before? Yeah, I got otters at my local zoo. They're adorable. Nice. Uh, otters are a big thing because uh, Monterey Bay was a uh, was like a natural habitat of them. So you didn't even have to go into the aquarium to see them. You nice. could see them like outside. Escape we're trying to. Well. Yeah, I'm. We're now trying, we're trying to... to stall for time here. Yeah, you know, I got a zoo. It's great. It's like only four miles from my house, and it's not like the biggest zoo in the world, but it's got a lot of things a lot of people don't have. And just being able to ride my bike to that zoo as a kid. Okay, next time. Those phases went by fine. <laughs> Ancient Gear Factory fun. Yep. Okay. And guess what? We did not get. We did not get. Uh, Polly. So, um, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, keep that. See Koala out here because he's been such a champ. And we'll finish you off with the big you Koala. You gotta love the weird synergy though. Yeah, no, this deck works. Like, I had. You know, I thought I was just playing it to be quirky and weird, but no, it was the better deck today. Yeah, inch, old Ancient Gears stink. Mainly yeah. because Crowler did not have what was basic for them, which was the, uh, which was the red, green, and yellow gadgets. Oh, uh, yeah, the gadgets. Definitely can help out. They don't. Yeah, they don't have. He didn't have those get those little things in there, so he couldn't. You can't put them in this deck. Yeah. Even though his other engineers that he doesn't have specifically need them. But he has writing instead, so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. This went well for the koalas, I guess. Um, the good guy wins. Boom. Get chummed on, Mario. Wait, that sounds weird. Never mind. <laughs> anyway. That sounds really weird. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get eaten by sharks now. I don't know what to tell you. Wait, I am? Yeah, that's what chum means. Uh... So it's stuff they used to bait the water for sharks. Uh... I'm, I'm totally not over explaining my jokes so people's heads don't go somewhere else weird. <laughs>
anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything else. Leave a like on the video and comment down below what you want to see next. What characters you might want to see head toe-to-toe. -to -toe, and we will see you next time. See you, folks.